What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope all you're having a great day so far today. Getting into this episode of GH. Um, well, before I get into this episode of GH, I am super freaking happy for Beyond the Gates. Like, I saw the new additions to the cast that they got, like the new people and all that. I was so happy with the casting. I looked at those beautiful people. I said, now look at this. Look at God. That I know that show is going to be off the charts. Like my expectations for this show is super. It's getting higher and higher because when I see the cast and whatnot and I see the description of the cast, I'm feeling it. I am freaking loving it. Like this definitely seems like a show that's going to be juicy. Like it seemed like it's going to be some good juice, some good mess. I'm here for it. I'm totally here for it. These characters, reading the description of every character, it's definitely going to be some scandal. It's going to be scandalous. And I'm I'm here for it. Um, I cannot wait. Like, January cannot come fast enough for me. Like, I am, I'm so hoping that this show does very, very well. And I hope everybody tunes in. I'm excited. Like, ecstatic. Um, so, yeah, getting into this episode, GH. I get where Sasha coming from. I totally do. I get it. I understand why she's not over the moon about Robert being her father. And I get it because it's a lot to process. Like Robert is her father. Her mother is back in town. Cody, her boyfriend, is also her cousin. That's a lot. Like that is a lot to process and take in. So I get it. You know what I mean? Like how do you handle this? You know what I mean? How do you process this type of information? It's insane. Um, I am glad that she went to Nina and talked to Nina and told Nina what was going on. Um, and I totally get, I, I agree with Nina. I feel like Sasha is definitely trying to prolong telling Cody, but the longer she wait to tell him, the harder it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? They got to come to some type of decision about their romantic relationship. Because in my personal opinion, it's a no for me, them dating. Like if Robert is in fact her dad, I say, hell no. Hell no. Mm -mm. Nope. That I can't get past the whole cousin thing. So them being in a romantic relationship would not work for me at this point. <laughs> it wouldn't work for me because I would just be looking at them with a side eye. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's too close to home. Like, y'all blood. Like, nah. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Wouldn't work for me. Mm -mm. So she gonna have to tell them they gonna have to break up. <laughs> Unfortunately. I mean, if the writers want to go in that direction, I mean, you know, that's y'all, but it is too, it's too freaky for me. <laughs> like, how do you explain that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, how? I mean, they, I mean, don't get me wrong. Shows like this, like this has skirted that line because it's a very thin line. They skirted it. You know what I'm saying? For years. I mean, look at Dante and Sam. They got siblings in common. You know what I'm saying? But they're but each other are not blood related. You know what I'm saying? But they got siblings in common. So that's like, mm, you know, they, they, they skirted that line. They were on that fine line. But you could get past that because they're not they're not related. You know what I'm saying? So it's that you could look past it. But uh, actual relation like blood relation and y'all trying to be romantic that. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's why I'm looking at this and I'm like, what the hell was the writers thinking? Like, why? Out of all the daddies, why Robert? Like, why do you have to make Robert her father? Robert didn't even need another child, to be honest. And if uh, and if you were going to make somebody his illegitimate child, why not Ethan? They had a golden opportunity with Ethan. You know what I'm saying? Being his son. That that would have made more sense. Um, I, I, I could have handled that. You know what I'm saying? Like... Luke, Robert, it works either way. But if you were going to do it, I would have preferred that that honor went to Robert instead of Luke. Just my opinion. Because um, I like Cody and Sasha. It took them a minute to get together. And now that they finally are, they got to pretty much call it quits. That's crazy. Um, But yeah, it is time for her to just open up and tell tell him what's going on. Holly is pissing me off. Like this, this lady just don't know when to go. Like, ma'am, 
what did she think she was going to accomplish by going to Cody and trying to run a con on him and get him to get in on this new con that she running? Oh, I know somebody who likes to gamble and all this. It's like a million dollars or whatever. You know, I'll give you most of the cut. I'm glad Cody turned her down. Cody said, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Mm -mm. I finally got a family. I got a good lady. I like what I do for a living. You know, he like clean up horse manure for a living. <laughs> um. And I, and I feel him, though. He don't want to, you know, disappoint Mac. You know what I'm saying? Like, he trying to be on the straight and narrow. I respect it. But Holly crossed the line going to see him. Like, she really crossed the line. I'm glad Sasha popped up when she did and told her to skedaddle. You know what I mean? Because Holly doing too much. Like, going to him is not going to fix your situation with, you know, with um, Sasha. It's just, it's not going to fix that. You know? She need to go on somewhere. Um... But yeah, I can't wait to see his expression when he find out that they're cousins. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you gonna do about that? Because that's huge. Um, speaking of, you know, I respect Diane's confidence that, you know, Robert is over Holly and all this, that, and the other. I respect the confidence, but I feel like she barking up the wrong tree. I feel like she delusional where that's concerned because the way Robert is pretty much giving Holly a pass for lying to him all these years tells me he ain't over that lady. He ain't over her. He still love her because what man gonna give her a pass? And she admitted to his face that he never would have known had it not been for the Cody Sasha relationship. She never would have told. She would have took that to her grave. And he's still giving her a pass. Still giving her a pass. So Diane need to worry. Like she she need to panic because I'm like, man, your relationship with him is not that solid. I don't feel like it's as solid as he trying to make her believe it is or she trying to make herself believe it is or she trying to make alexis believe it is it ain't that solid um i wouldn't trust it but her facial expressions when she found out that sasha was um his daughter and holly was the mother the way she threw her hands up and rolled her eyes <laughs> That shit was hilarious. That was funny as hell. I said, Diane, you got a whole slew of new problems on your hand, boo. They share a child together now, a grown child. So you already know that connection has just deepened more than it ever has. It got deeper. Diane and Robert, they may not be long for this world as a couple. Nope. I don't feel like they, they are. Um, speaking of Diane and Alexis, I like when they get together and had a little powwows and stuff like that, but it was kind of funny to me when she found out Heather Weber got free and I totally agree with her. Like Heather definitely shouldn't be roaming the streets, but it was kind of ironic because she was like, Oh, after she almost tried to kill me, but Diane, look at the people that you represent. They've murdered people who had families and stuff like that. And you know, you represented them and got them out of prison or kept them out of prison. Now you see how the victims' families feel. That's how they feel whenever her criminal clients get off scot-free after they do some shit. That's how them victims' families be feeling. Like, oh, Sonny or whoever walking the streets, you know, look at Franco. How you think his victims' families felt when Diane got him off with that brain tumor? You know, he killed somebody's sister, mother, you know what I'm saying? Brother, dad uncle you know what i'm saying grandson he he murdered people and they had families and this is how they all felt when he got free now she's on the receiving end of that so i found i found it kind of ironic um alexis is delusional as hell like her aunt um diane was delulu as hell on that whole rick situation like well alexis was more practical I, let me say that because she knew rick will dismantle Christina on the witness stand. But I feel like Diane, no. When she was like, oh, you know, I'm pretty sure you're going to have her well rehearsed. Diane, have you met Christina? Do you not know how many times Michael, Alexis, and Sonny has told this girl to leave it to them, let it go, let them fix things, let them handle it. And you know how many times that girl ignored them? And you really think whatever Alexis tells her to do on that stand, she's really going to go with it and listen? She's a freaking hothead. She's not going to listen. She's and like Molly said, just like she blew up at, at Rick and, and um, Ava at the restaurant. She's going to do it on the stand. Like Molly said, she handed the, the whole case to them and she's going to do it again in court. 
come on, don't don't be delusional to this girl. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Um. Laura, another Delulu person. <laughs> God bless her. God bless her heart. Um. I love me some Laura, but for her to sit there and say she doesn't have any illusions to who Cyrus is. If she didn't have any illusions to who he is and she knew she know things about him, why are you letting that man visit your daughter? Why are you letting him around you after everything he's done? He's the reason your daughter is laying in that bed and you talking about some, oh, well, you need to call first if you want to see Lulu. He should not have access to Lulu. He should not have access to you, darling. He shouldn't have access to nobody but a prison chapel. That's the only access he should be having to anything. And I do mean a prison chapel where he's actually an inmate. Like, are you nuts? No, I wouldn't let that man five feet near me. Are you crazy? And you, she got the nerve to sit there and pray with him. Laura, Laura, you don't even know who that man was praying to because I'm pretty sure it was not Jesus. It wasn't it wasn't our Lord and Savior. I doubt I don't know who he was praying to, but it wasn't the God I pray to. I'm sure <laughs> it wasn't that. I don't know. You, I don't know who he praying. I would not be praying with that man. You don't know who he praying calling out all type of spirits you know <laughs> i'm just saying like when you pray with people you gotta be careful when you pray with people especially when you know who, the type of person they are you don't know who they praying to i wouldn't want them demons on me no mm -mm. no sir you go pray over there way over there i don't want them demons following me around and following me home no sir Get away from me. Um, mm -mm, that man is of the devil. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Got to shake them spirits off you. Mm -mm, I don't want that on me. Um, <laughs> just say it. But I totally agree with Anna, though. I feel like I agree with her and Laura. I feel like Charlotte need to be back for this. You know, this is huge. She need to be there with her mom sitting by her bedside. But my whole thing is, though, I don't know what information Anna thinks she going to get out of Brendan, like what other angle she thinks she could work with him. Cause Brendan is a pretty sharp person and she's already spoken to him more than once about Valentine. He shot her down every single time. So if you had an angle, another angle to play, why haven't you played that angle before? Why are you waiting until now to do it? Should have been played that. So it, to me, I feel like it don't matter what angle you got to play. That man might shut you down again. Who knows? Um, you know, she trying to go to Alexis and stuff. I mean, she should know Valentine, even though him and Alexis are tight, you should know Valentine's not going to call Alexis. Valentine's a pretty smart person. He knows who he can contact and who he can't. And he already knows as close as him and Alexis is, you know, if she heard from him, she was going to tell. So that's how I know Valentine ain't stupid. He's not going to contact Alexis. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. I love the look on Elizabeth's face when Heather told her that she was going to Arizona with um Steve. Elizabeth looked so relieved. <laughs> Elizabeth was making some funny ass faces. And I know she was happy because now Heather don't have to live with her. You know what I mean? Because Heather was sitting there telling Steve, oh, I'm sure Liz will put me and you up. First of all, you barely a guest in her house yourself. How you gonna invite your son to come stay there too? I'm like, Heather, you got some nerve. Um, but it, I, I didn't think that Curtis's plan was gonna work. I really didn't. And and I reserve, I reserve, you know, my comment because I don't feel like this plan has fully worked until I know Heather is on a plane to Arizona. When I know, when they say, oh, Heather and uh, Steve made their flight and they're on that, that plane, then I'll know that it worked. You know what I mean? But I don't trust it. I, I don't trust it. Um, but I'm glad, you know, Steve kind of stuck up for Olivia when Heather mentioned her name. Like, oh, you still hung up on her? Steve was like, listen, don't bring her up. That's 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 subject is off limits and stay the hell away from her. I know that's right, Steve. Stick up for, you know, stick up for Olivia because after, you know, everything Heather did to Olivia, I, I wouldn't want her to speak her name either. Heather shouldn't be speaking anybody's name. And I am glad that Heather, you know, listened to him and was like, you know what? Cool. I'll, I'll move to Arizona because she's the Lulu as well. 
to think that she's going to be a part of Ace's life full time. Oh, you know, I, I my grandson's here, ma'am, you are far from a grandparent. And soon that boy going to learn how to read. He going to Google and he going to see what type of demented grandmother he got. Um, So hopefully, and I feel like Arizona ain't far enough. I'm just saying it's far. It ain't that it ain't far enough. Cause I would want that nut totally away from me with her craziness. Um, I don't know, but I just feel like a part of me feel like they not going to make that plane. So we shall see. Um, that was pretty much the whole episode. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. See you all later. Peace.